Welcome back. Let's continue with the rest of the show. Estimates suggest that one in three people at some point in their lives will be affected by cancer, making it one of the world's most pressing medical issues. And a promising new way of treating it may lie not in chemistry, but in biology. What's up in the lab? The National Industria Award was created to be the Oscar of Russian industry. So there were few more fitting people to present it than Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. The ceremony was held for the first time at this year's Inaprom exhibition in Yekaterinburg, and the first ever winner of the award was St. Petersburg biopharmaceutical company, Biocad. Biocad's innovative approach to developing and manufacturing a range of medicines made it stand out from the crowd. The company was given the Industria Award for its pioneering project, Mabnext, a revolutionary treatment based on monoclonal antibodies, which are similar to the ones in our bloodstream that target infections. By modifying them to target the unique cell proteins associated with specific conditions, including cancers, autoimmune diseases, the scientists at Biocad can create highly targeted treatments with minimal side effects. As of today, our company's portfolio includes treatment formulas based on the newest targets. And we're also working actively on autoimmune diseases. These include conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, asthma, psoriasis, atopic arthritis and multiple sclerosis, which are all very difficult to treat. We're looking into the future, trying to determine what types of treatment, what molecules the doctors will need in order to help patients effectively. Biocad's headquarters are located at the Neudorf Special Economic Zone in St. Petersburg. Set up in 2001, Biocad started off producing generic drugs, in doing so, reducing Russia's dependence on more expensive imports and making treatments more affordable for patients with cancer, autoimmune diseases and other serious conditions. Just four years later, the firm had already developed and released its own medicine, Genferon. A decade on, it's still used to treat respiratory viral infections. But the company has come on in leaps and bounds since then and is now one of Russia's top three pharmaceutical businesses. Biocad currently has 15 innovative drugs in different stages of development and one already in clinical trials. In 2014, the Russian Ministry of Health approved Russia's first biosimilar monoclonal antibody, Acelbia, the main ingredient of which is rituximab. For over 10 years, rituximab has proven to be highly effective against lymphomas and leukemias. Non-Hodgkin lymphoma is one of the 10 most common forms of cancer in the world, with over 20,000 new cases in Russia every year. But producing biosimilar medicines is far more complex than generic drugs. Our company has a whole bioinformatics department, which, as far as I know, is unique among Russian companies. Around a dozen specialists are working on in silica modeling of recombinant protein structures. Their work is highly important in the process of developing innovative monoclonal antibody treatments. In silica modeling enables us to predict a molecule's properties, as well as its stability, and functionality. This certainly increases the likelihood of creating the most efficient drug and decreases the risk of making mistakes and consequently shortens the drug development cycle. Manufacturing biosimilar medicines is just the start for Biocad. One of their most promising new developments is an antibody against interleukin-17. The unique antibody actively targets cytokine, the production of which is closely associated with many autoimmune diseases. Once approved, anti-interleukin-17 will be used to treat psoriasis, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis and many more. This medicine does not only relieve symptoms of an inflammatory autoimmune disease, but also fights the cause of it and blocks the disease's development at the earliest stage. So, patients who take these kinds of medicines will also use treatments against interleukin-17, and we expect patients to demonstrate a very fast relief of symptoms, a very long remission, and very good control over the disease. All the company's biopharmaceuticals are made at their super-modern, super-sterile production facility, also at the Neudorf Economic Zone. And believe it or not, but Chinese hamster ovary cells make the ideal vehicle for producing monoclonal antibodies, thanks to their high productivity, robustness and safety record. Using a method called transfection, DNA molecules are added to the cell, causing it to produce the exact protein required to target a specific disorder. To start off, the 1 milliliter frozen cell vial is bred up to make a 2 liter cell culture. 
The cells, complete with nutrient solution, are then transferred to a wave bioreactor. The pH of the solution is carefully controlled by pumping a mixture of air and CO2 into the single-use sterile sac. The quantity and health of the cells is monitored under a microscope using an automated counter which registers the viability of the cells. After a couple of days in the wave bioreactor, the solution is transferred to a 250 litre and ultimately 1000 litre steel bioreactor, again using specially designed single-use sacs. A bevy of sensors and tubes monitor and regulate the temperature, circulation speed, pH and oxygen to provide the perfect conditions for cell growth. After 10 days in the final bioreactor, the protein concentration of the mixture reaches the required level. And after purification, the batch is then poured back into vials and distributed across the country. We use lots of disposable materials in our production, and that's one of the advantages of this facility. This helps reduce the production costs and therefore reduce the cost of the products and make them competitive on the market. BioCAD is part of the Pharma 2020 program, under which Russia plans to become completely self-sufficient in producing the latest pharmaceuticals in six years, making the most advanced treatments available and affordable to as many people as possible.